Today, I will be answering the golden question. How much does it cost to buy and set up a pet chameleon? Answers will vary, but hopefully by the end of this video, you have a good idea of the cost associated with owning a pet chameleon. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I wanna first start out by saying that there's a lot of variability with all of this. You could spend less money, you could spend more money. The numbers that I'm gonna be throwing out are based off of me checking a bunch of different online reptile suppliers. So this is just average numbers, also subject to change. The world is a crazy place right now, all right? And I made this video a few years ago, and let me tell you, the numbers are completely different. So we're gonna dive into it. First things first, we're starting out with a chameleon. The actual chameleon itself, how much does it cost? Then there's a couple things that are gonna influence this. Is it a male or female? What's the species and where are you buying it from? If you're buying from a reputable breeder, you're gonna be paying more than if you're buying from a chain store like Petco or PetSmart. If you're buying a veil chameleon, that's gonna be cheaper than if you're buying a panther chameleon. It's all based off of desirability. That's why the males are more expensive than the females. So we're just gonna throw out some ballpark numbers here. So for a veil chameleon, I've seen them as cheap as $5.99, $99. So we're gonna start with like, $60 and I've seen hmm I'm not gonna say where because I don't ever recommend buying from them but they were charging like $4.75 for a veiled chameleon which is like totally wild totally an extreme number but I would say on average I know from like $60 to $150 is pretty average for a veiled chameleon so I'm gonna put that there also pardon my chicken scratch like reaching over <laughs> while doing this so panther commands are gonna be a little bit different. Females are definitely cheaper than the males. I would say on average for the males, I'm seeing like 450 to 550 right now. There are of course anomalies and there are people who are definitely charging $1,000 for panther chameleon right now, which in my opinion is overpriced and females will definitely be cheaper and I've seen females for as cheap as 150. So again, some variability, but most people are looking for a male panther command. So I'm gonna put 450, 550 on here. 450 to 550. And this is in US dollars. Just want to put that out there. All right, and then Jackson's Chameleon. These are hard to find captive bred, but the Jackson's that I have seen are like 150. And then Parsons Chameleons are the most expensive species of chameleon, and those start at 1,000. So we're just going to put 1,000 plus. So you're already a good couple hundred dollars in for just the chameleon itself, then we can work our way down into the enclosure. So the enclosures vary based off of, again, the materials, the brand, are you building it yourself, etc. So if you're building a, a chameleon enclosure yourself, I've seen people do it as cheap as $50. Like actually, just like the wood screen, whatever. I should have done, I'm not left-handed. I should have put this on the other side. We're just gonna, I just move this over a little bit. Anyways, we're gonna try this. Okay, so $50 for this. Should I put like little dollar signs for all these? I thought the whiteboard would be fun. I don't know, you guys tell me. So mint here would be for me the XL Rep Debris screen enclosure. Medium price point, an excellent enclosure. It's not the best of the best, but it will definitely get the job done and you can use it for the entirety of your chameleon's life. So those usually retail for around 120 right now. And then high end are gonna be things like a dragon strand enclosure or a Tamara designs enclosure, and those are 500 plus. And I say plus because you can easily drop $1,000 on a canal enclosure, but those are like the custom builds. Amazing enclosures just come in with the price tag. So I moved the ring light. I realized it was in the way, but hopefully now you can see me a little better. And I am right-handed, so this would be better for me to write versus on the other side. Hindsight's 2020. So we're gonna talk about lighting now. This is going to be everything that goes kind of on the outside of your enclosure. So whoop, first things first is the heat fixture. I did write the prices over on my computer over there, so I'm just gonna look to see what it said. $15. And again, this is the average price that I found across like different places that you can buy online. I found that it's cheaper to buy online than in stores, but shop the sales, get the, you know, get the good pricing. And then heat bulb, I wrote down $5. This will vary on if you buy a reptile branded bulb or a non-reptile branded bulb. 
those definitely have a difference in cost, but on average, $5. A UVB fixture, that's gonna be the long, skinny um, fixture that you see. So you need the fixture, the thing that holds it, and then you need the bulb itself. So the fixture looks like the average cost was $35. And that's for the T5 high output linear 24 inch. And then the UVB bulb, I looked up the cost of a T5, um, either Arcadia 6%, is what I looked up, or the Reptisun 5.0, and those were about $20. And then a plant LED is a nice to have, not a have to have. So I'm gonna put a little asterisk next to it because it's not required. Everything else we've talked about is required. Obviously, the command, the enclosure, heat, and UVB, but a plant LED is a nice to have. So that's something you could get later on. You don't have to get it like right away. And those are going for about $90 right now. I will say I have the Jungle Dawn LED, which is on the higher end, and I've had it for multiple years. It's still going great. So keep that in mind, it's an investment, but mine has lasted a really long time. But right, then we move on to hydration. So within hydration, you have a couple different methods. You've got misters, foggers, strippers, and then I put in water and conditioner. So I get a lot of questions asking like, do you need a mister? Do you need a fogger? Do you need a dripper? Like, what's the difference? They're all different. They all serve their own purposes. The ones that I would say are optional would be a fogger and a dripper. Mister, I would say is required. Now, I recommend an automatic misting system. My favorite is the Miss King misting system. Um, they have like three different tiers. The starter is totally fine. That's retailing right now for $179. That price has definitely gone up. All these prices have gone up, but I remember my Miss King was like $100 back in the day. Um, but you could also get like a, just a spray bottle from the dollar store. That's a dollar, right? So I would say a mister is required, but a Miss King or an automatic misting system is a nice to have. And honestly, I wouldn't even bother with the other misting systems that are on the market. The Miss King is worth every single penny and is the best one you can get for chameleon. The other ones just, they're not as good. Really. So just save up a little more and just like get the get the good one. So foggers are used for nighttime humidity to raise the nighttime humidity levels, and it's like a fog machine versus a mister is actual spray, and then a dripper is water that's dripping down. So those are like the physical differences. But misters you would use to increase the humidity. Foggers are for nighttime humidity. Drippers are for actual drinking opportunities. But you wouldn't even need a dripper if you're misting schedules are on point so all right so let's see how much is a fogger going for 58 dollars cool and i'm gonna put dripper they they sell them but like you can make one for a dollar really you just have to get like a gallon of milk or a plastic cup or a jug whatever and you can make a dripper yourself h2 and conditioner so the reason i have this on here is because tap water is always recommended. It can ruin your misting nozzles. It may not be safe for your chameleon. That being said, where you live in your tap water or do you have well water, like your quality of water is gonna vary based off of where you live. So it's not fair for me to just assume your water quality. And people always ask me if, if tap water is safe to use. I'm like, mm, it depends. I personally have filters on all of my faucets and so I'm able to use filtered water. A lot of people don't have that option so they use what's called RO water, reverse osmosis water, so you have to buy that by the jug or you use some sort of water conditioner. So I'm just going to put $20 for this but this is also I feel like optional depending on kind of your, your water setup and everything. Okay, then we're moving on to the interior, the inside of the enclosure. This is where there's a lot of variability. First things first is plants. My recommendation is live plants. There's tons of different places you can get them. Recently, I've been really enjoying the Bio Dude. I haven't mentioned this yet, but I have discount codes for literally all these things. All these things, at least 10% off. Literally everything that's on this list. So just take 10% off of the total cost and you're already saving yourself some money. So please take advantage of my discount codes. They're always linked in the description of the video and on my link tree, so take advantage. But plants, you're probably looking at at least $200. Is that what I wrote down on my list? Let's see. Okay, I said 150, but really you're probably looking like $200. So we'll just do 150 to 
200, okay? That's to like deck it out, the whole thing. Then you've got branches. You can buy branches. I don't recommend the vines. If you do end up buying branches, they're very expensive. Very expensive. It'll be like 30 or $40 for like one big branch. So I personally use branches from outside. I wash them, I sanitize them. I make sure they don't have sap or bark or any mold or bugs or anything like that. And that's what I use inside my enclosures. So if I do that, the cost is just my time, right? There's no actual dollar cost. So that's what most people do. Very few people are actually buying branches. And again, I don't recommend any of the vines. So branches, we're just gonna put zero dollars. But if you do decide to do branches, budget a couple hundred dollars because it adds up quick. And then you're gonna need pots because you're gonna like replant your pot or you're gonna need pots to hang them inside your enclosure. So I would say you're probably looking at another like $30 in pots. And then for soil, I use organic potting soil that I put in with all of my, like I repot all of my plants. So I think that was like 10 bucks for that. Um, and then bioactive, this is definitely optional. That's something that you can do if you wanna do like bioactive soil, isopods, this kind of has an unlimited dollar amount because you can either like make your own bioactive soil and you can like grow your own isopods or like do you want to add springtails in there like there's a lot that goes into it so like know that this is an option it's not required it's definitely something that i wouldn't recommend for new keepers more for advanced keepers but um, the bio dude sells amazing bioactive supplies and again i have discount codes with them so take advantage zip ties are what like five bucks for those, whoop, that's a weird looking five. Ah, it's all spongy. Okay, we're just gonna redo this one. Whoop. Five dollars, there we go, that's a good five. And that's so you can attach all your branches inside your enclosure, so. Okay, that's the inside, feel pretty good about that. Um, if you want, you could also get dragon ledges. That's something that you can get to attach your branches, but I did make a whole video just on how to attach branches using just zip ties and fishing lines, so you don't need any fancy gadgets or gizmos to do that. So that's great if you're a bond on a budget. Next we have food. This is a reoccurring cost. So keep that in mind, but bugs. So I spend on average like $50 a month for three chameleons. So I don't know what that necessarily comes out to per chameleon because like Venus eats different size bugs than Neptune and Luna does right now. She also eats more bugs, they eat less bugs. So it's very variable, but like I did a quick like add a bunch of bugs to my cart on Dewey.com, got a discount with them and was able to kind of figure out ballpark how much I would spend per month. And it was about 20 to $30. And before you like freak out on that price because you're like, what? I spend way more than that. Da -da -da. Buy your bugs online, okay? There's tons of different places you can buy online and the prices are way better. Not to mention the actual quality of the bug is typically much better than if you're buying them from your local Petco, PetSmart, or wherever else. So I don't care where you go, just try and find a solid bug online retailer who has much better pricing than in stores. So gut load is what you feed to the bugs. I typically use fresh fruits and vegetables. So that's like 10 bucks a month. For that, again, a reoccurring cost. And then supplements, so you're gonna need your calcium without vitamin D3, that's like $3. And then your Reptivite with D3, that's the two that I recommend. That's $4, so that's a total of $7 for all those supplements. Those will last you for a good few months, so they're not really a reoccurring cost, but those are definitely required. Next up, we have accessories. These are all the extra gadgets and gizmos. Also, if you see any typos, typos, spelling errors, whatever in here, just ignore them. Okay, I was like writing this by hand. And you know when you write like on a board or something, then you tend to spell things wrong. So <laughs> anyways, we're gonna go for the timers. So I think mine were like $10. Yes, so that's $10. So this is so your lights will turn on and off automatically. Um, you can also go to Smart Plug, I've done that. So then it's connected to like all of your, you know, smart things like within your home and you can control it from an app. That's pretty cool. Um, tongs, I don't recommend feeding with tongs, but as someone who does not like touching the bugs, the tongs are great to actually like handle with the bugs. Those are like $5, so we'll do that. Whoa, okay, that, <laughs> that's bad. We can redo that one. All right, that's a little better, $5. 
in feeding cups. Those are like another five dollars. Okay, you, can you tell that's a five? We're getting further away, so it's getting harder to write. There are other feeding cups that are more like feeder runs. Those can run you like up to $60. Like those can definitely get pricey. The feeding cups that I use, little like bird feeder cups, those are five bucks off Amazon. Okay, thermometer, I use a temperature gun. Those run you $25. Yep, right, looking at my list, yes. And then hygrometer, that's to measure your humidity. I use a digital one, those are $10. Power strip, that's so you can just like protect you know, all your electronics and everything. You might already own one, but that's $10. Table and drainage. So cleaners need to be up high. You would never want to have your cleaner enclosure on the floor. And you also have to consider how are you dealing with all of the water inside the cleaner enclosure. So I have the exact tables that I use for my cleaner enclosures linked on Amazon, but those run $100. Is that what I wrote down? Yeah, $100 for those so you could maybe already have a table or you have a different thing so like maybe this is a not necessarily have to have a nice to have like hmm okay maybe i changed my mind you have to have it you might just already have one same with like a power ship or maybe you already have supplements because you own other whoa no not this other reptiles okay and then background this is a nice to have for sure not a have to have but the background or like the cool backgrounds I have inside of my enclosure, these are multi-purpose. One, they look cool. Two, they help with the humidity, kind of hold it in. And three, they protect your walls from getting sprayed. So I highly recommend it. I recently looked at um, for like three sides of a 24 by 48 inch is $140. I do have a discount code with them for, whoop, that's zero, 10% uh, off. So. Let's see, 10% of that would be $14. So you can take $14 off that. And you're already saving yourself some money. So that's all that. Um, if you think of any other accessories, let me know in the comments. But I tried to be as thorough as possible with this list so you guys could really know what all is included. Um, okay, lane bin. So this is only if you have a veiled or panther female chameleon. Then you'll need to provide her something to lay her egg. So that is a cost associated with owning a female chameleon. So the bucket will probably run you like $10. I don't know, how much are buckets? Like $5 from like Walmart or something? They don't have to be big. And then the sand is like five bucks. You wanna get washed play sand and then you put that in a bucket with a little plant or a stick or something like that and then put that inside of her enclosure. I do have an entire video just on egg laying, so certainly not gonna dive into that now, but definitely check that out if you have a veiled or female. Veiled or female. <laughs> Build their female chameleon. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Then we have some other costs. So electricity, I feel like this is a consideration. I'll be honest, I've been keeping reptiles for like five years now. And so my electricity bill, I have no idea what it was prior. So I'm gonna put a question mark, but just know it probably is gonna go up because you've got lights running for 12 hours of the day. So just a consideration. Then vet, okay. Everyone's got different opinions on this, but you should really be budgeting for a reptile vet. They are expensive. With chameleons, more often than not, it's not an if, it's a win, and you would rather have the money budgeted and set aside to be able to afford that. I recognize not everyone is in the financial place to do that, but if you're in your research phase and you're getting ready to own a chameleon, like take the time to save up to have the extra money set aside so that if and when that time does come, you're able to at least take your chameleon to the vet. So my philosophy is to have some money set aside. Again, I am mindful that everyone's financial situation may not allow them to do that. So like, please do what is best for you. But I do think it's worth mentioning. And I do think it's worth considering when you're looking at the cost of a pet is the vet and medical expenses. So I'm going to be setting aside $200 for, oops, that, oh, that looks like a two. $200 and that's just for like a vet visit, fecal, they need us to do like blood work or x-rays, it's gonna just add up from there, but at least $200 will like get you in the door. So I think that's something worth considering when you're looking at the total costs. Okay, so then let's look real quick at the reoccurring costs. So there's some things that are just going to be stuff that happens over and over again. So chameleon one-time cost, enclosure one-time cost, lighting, your fixture will be, one-time thing but you will be replacing 
your heat bulb and your UVB bulb. Those are gonna be reoccurring. Your UVB bulb is about every six months and your heat bulb is every couple of months depending on how long it lasts. Mr. Fogger dripper, that's all stuff that's a one-time purchase. Water conditioner, that's gonna be a reoccurring cost. Plants are a reoccurring cost. Why you ask? Because they die, eventually. Like, I don't know, I always lose some or just wanna refill it or you're just gonna add some in. So I always end up buying new plants. So that's a reoccurring cost for me. Not often, but it does happen. Um, bugs, for sure, reoccurring. Gut loads are reoccurring. Supplements, uh, just like when you run out or when they expire, not very often. So I don't really consider that a reoccurring cost. Timers, foggers, not foggers, timers, tongs, feeding cups. All this is a one-time purchase. Bucket and sand, sand may be a reoccurring cost depending on how well you're able to keep it clean. And yeah, I think that about does it as far as the cost of a chameleon. So give me a moment to tally all this up. Okay, so I just did some math. So I took out the cost of the chameleon. So it's gonna be chameleon plus the total came out to $1,340 equals total cost. Like that. So then you can add in if you have to buy a chameleon. So if you're doing, you know, a veal chameleon for $100, then you're like $1,440. If you're looking at a panther chameleon, then you're looking close to $2,000. So that gives you an idea, if you do it right, if you do it by the book, you don't cut corners, what the actual cost of the chameleon is. Now, like I said at some point in the video, please take advantage of my discount codes, right? Saving 10% of this is $134. Like that's a pretty significant amount of money. I also have chameleon kits, okay? So let's just take two seconds real quick. So I have the basic kit because we're talking about buying all this, right? You can buy it individually, but I have these kits. So like, let's talk about it. So a basic kit retails for $249.99, okay? What is included in the basic kit? This enclosure, this, 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 um, a manual mister, no plants, no branches, doesn't come with that, comes with your supplements, timers, tongs, Thermometer, hygrometer, and I think that's what's all included. Okay, so that's for $249.99. Then you have, let's get a different color here. Mm, we'll do orange. The advanced kit retails for $584.99. Okay, what comes in that? Again, you've got the enclosure. All these guys, dink, 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 and the plant LED. And it comes with the Mr. Fogger, and then it comes, none of that stuff, supplements as well, timers, tongs, thermometer, hygrometer, do, 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 and yeah, that's it. The big difference between the advanced and the basic is the misting system, the fogger, um, what else? Oh, and the plant LED, which you can see have some of the, the higher price tag. So that's why it's the $584.99. These are available on the Pangea Reptile website. That's pangeareptile.com. So please take advantage of those. These are these have discounts built into them. So you're not paying full price. And again, these are average prices for what you can find on the internet. So please take advantage. But really, I just wanted you to not have sticker shock, right? Understand how much cost goes into it. And if you're going to do it right, this is kind of what you're looking for so you can budget it properly. Like I said at the beginning, there are cheaper ways to do it. So don't come at me in the comments of like, oh, I got my rescue chameleon and da, da, da. Well, obviously then they were way cheaper than like, you know, a person's chameleon or a panther chameleon from like, you know, some crazy good breeder or whatever. And you can easily spend more than this. I guarantee you there are people in the comments that have dropped like three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 on their setup. So. This is just to give you an idea, this is targeted for new keepers who are just getting started. You can take advantage of my shopping list. I do have those as well. Those will be linked in the description box below. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful, gives you an idea. Been rocking my new Neptune the Chameleon merch. Uh, it does have a cool back on it. It has like a cute little chameleon there and stuff. But anyways, 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a question or comment down below. Let me know how much did you spend approximately on your command, your closure, all that setup. So let me know. And as always, you can leave me any questions or comments. Always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you know I post a new video. Follow Neptune and all my clans on social media at Neptune the Chameleon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> How awful would that be if this whole thing just, like, comes crashing down. This is glass. First, you're going to need the hit. Hmm.